Okay, this morning we're going to do a video on this uh, new tank uh, tank liquid level meter. It comes in two parts. It's wireless, and we're going to replace the the one up here uh, that was wireless, and uh, it kind of quit working right, and it's hard to see through. So they still make it. Uh, they don't make the wireless one though, so we went with this one uh, Which which I think was about um, About $45 I believe so we're gonna open this box and see what's in it We have a little uh, uh, the screen is it. Hope you can see that better than uh, I can see it. I See we need uh, two batteries for this one. Two double A's. Yeah, let's find a place to put this one. Back pockets, coat pocket. And then the other little box. And in here we've got uh, the send and sending uh, device, and this is either I think this is four batteries. I'll have to get a screwdriver and get that open. And that little black section sits down in the tank. Oh, uh, we're gonna see if it's about the same hole size as the other one. Put this in there. It does come with a couple screws and uh, instruction. Now I've already taken a look at this. It really doesn't tell you a heck of a lot. Well, yeah, actually it does. It tells me that uh, this has got to be a foot and uh, <clears throat> a foot point six four uh, above the water. So that's not a problem, and it will go to a depth of 49 feet. Well, that's a big tank. Anyway, this is it. Go get a screwdriver and put that. Okay, we're going to open these up. This one's going to require two double A's. Whoops, I wasn't supposed to put this in first. Okay, I'm going to save that one. Uh, the instructions were to put the batteries in this one, and it will start up and then immediately put the batteries in the. Uh, the black one. Here we go. And this little goodie comes out and this, <laughs> this is six batteries but it's the uh, the small ones. Okay we we'll have to go back in and get some tiny batteries. Okay I'm back <laughs> I have six uh, AAA batteries. And let's do this. Okay, that's in. And our little connectors are at the top, so we need to put these at the top. Push that in there.
Now they said this was not waterproof, so... I should cover it. We're gonna do that. <clears throat> We've got tiny screws here, so this is goes around here. This is the antenna, I'm sure, and this is a little bubble, uh, like leveling. So they want you to get that as level as could be. So we got the batteries in it, and then it's it batteries in this and they will connect all right there we go then it connects now we got to do some kind of uh, calculations here um, okay um, it even has a time here, so I um, guess we can set that. This has a little uh, thing here, so you can set it like that. See it every morning. It has a temperature on it. It's on Celsius right now. Okay, we're going to um, take both of these things out to the tank and figure out a way to mount this uh, out there on the tank. Okay, I got that. Uh, <clears throat> just pulled out the other one and put that one in the same place, the same hole. So uh, we'll see how that works. We'll go inside and start playing with the other uh, gizmo. Okay, uh, we're back. I'm back. I'm going to set this uh, goodie here. I'm going to explain how to. It's very, uh, very how to. Let me get some batteries. I need some batteries. Okay, I got some batteries. I got. Uh, one of them in there and I'm going to put this other one in but I want to explain to you how to start this thing because as soon as you put this battery in this comes up with the screen and you have to set the uh, uh, depth of the tank and it starts in meters I haven't figured out how to change it to feet when it just starts up so uh, <clears throat> I guess you just have to measure your tank in meters to start with and then put in uh, how many meters it is so um, here we go going to do this there we got it <clears throat> now it says tank level and all you can do here is push this plus to add meters to this so we're gonna add um, my tank was uh, water was like five foot uh, three inches something like that so we're gonna set this at two meters <laughs> I already missed it okay we're gonna do this again I'm gonna set it at two meters so you know what I'm doing here. Oops. You gotta let it die. Watch the screen go clear. Okay, it's memory's gone. I'm gonna put this back in here. I'm gonna get this screen back up, and now we're gonna go to two meters. And you see how we have a one way over here, a two, three, four. That is I I'm not even tense, I'm not sure, but um, if you hold it down you will get uh, the one there and then you get one it's like dot one one so we want to get this to two for my five foot it's 
close enough. We're at uh, eight tenths. Let's go a little. If you hold it down, it goes really fast. So let's go to two, six, seven, eight. Oh, 22. Okay. We went too far. You can use this. This one here, which is a negative, and go back down. Now I'm going to have to go to. Um, Oops, go one more. Okay, I'm at two. Now, that's the depth of the tank. As, you know, like to the bottom of the tank. And now I'm going to set the air gap at the top of the tank. Which, uh, again, is in meters. And the... Oh, crap. Okay, I'm going to do that over again. Again, the top of the tank is in meters. So you... The book will tell you the minimum is... Um, uh, the first five, uh, it's a half of a meter. So uh, we've got to do this all over again. Okay. Here we go. We're going to go for two meters for the depth. Ooh, right on. Cool. And we're going to press the set. Now it wants to do the air gap. And we're going to go to, no, the first um, 0 0.5. That's what we're going to do. See, if we hold that down, it'll go fast. Boop, 6. Okay, we're going to back that up to my 0 0.5, which is half a meter. So, and now it's going to set. It has set the tank level and the air gap. I have looked for other places beyond this and in the book to uh, readjust it. Oh, we have to push set. Okay, if you don't, within 15 seconds, it will do its thing. Now, here you go. This one, uh, you can see, is um, not reporting anything, uh, mainly because of, um, I don't know, this might work with the, the other... Uh, Ascending unit. I had to order, uh, I accidentally ordered two of these. It seems like more money to send it back than it was to, you know, uh, let's just keep it. So, uh, to do the time, you hold this set button down for three seconds, and it will go into uh, the time. And we can we can do the uh, okay twenty four hour clock that's good now we're going to do uh, like it's uh, ten o'clock here we hold it down it'll spin nine ten o'clock and then uh, uh, press set and it goes to the next uh, minutes and then you can put in however many minutes you have and if you pass you can always go backwards with the minus key. And then press set. Then it's going to go up here to uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius. And uh, you press this one. Yeah, that one changes it. And then you press set. And uh, tank, you can see up here now it says the tank. Elm. Here's where it will let you set the feet. But in the beginning, it won't let you get off of that elm. So we're going to set this one to uh, feet. Did I make it? I think. I think we're set now. If I wanted to go back in there, I'll have to hold the set down again for three seconds. I guess that wasn't right either. Okay, set that too. Now I think we're back <clears throat> to the regular screen. And you see, I, I have nothing over here because that's it. This is the uh, the second set that I had to buy. I didn't have to. I accidentally bought it, and uh, I don't believe it's uh, finding the tank. 
the little wireless thing. Da -de -da -de -da. There it goes. It says it did its little uh, tried to find the tank, and it says I don't find the tank. So these uh, this must work with its own sender uh, sensing unit and not not uh, the uh, the first one that I installed. So we're going to go inside and look at this. Uh, it's set up right now uh, in the kitchen, so we can view this. So uh, we're done with this one. Don't need to leave the batteries in this. <clears throat> and this is the kitchen unit that we're retiring. Rain harvesting. This was good for, uh, I think we've had this for almost four years. Uh, it worked good for a while and then it just kind of went berserk. So let's go inside and check out. Uh, this little goodie where it sits now. Let's see. Turn this off. Okay, here's the meter. Um, and you can see all the readings. It's given me Fahrenheit uh, that says it's inside and outside, so I guess that's uh, what's out the tank and what's inside. <clears throat> 70 degrees in here and uh, 65 degrees outside. Of course, that's not the temperature of the house. It's it's um, by the kitchen window. <clears throat> and this is you can see the tank. The tank there says 100% and 10%. So that's what we'll view every morning. If anything goes wrong, it'll you'll you'll be the first to see it. All right, that's all I have. Uh, thanks for watching.